<laughs> hey guys, it's Stephanie and Carissa, my baby, and we are going to continue on with playing the second part of, I believe this is the first episode, I think yeah. it's episodes, of yeah. Tell Me Why. So well, I think this is chapter one, because he said chapter two and chapter three. There's chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three? Yeah, I think so. So maybe we're in the first chapter, but we um, are going to continue on with where we were, and uh, let's get into it. Can you? Yes, you're just going to control it too. Yeah, we can both control it. Are you now. controlling it? We can both control it this time. Oh, okay. Yeah, Do you want a controller your, for a little while? Your thing, yeah. Yeah, you, we can both control it. Um, what's the... Um, now, what are we doing? Because we actually stopped it in the middle candles, of the store. candles, cleaning supplies, and snacks and drinks. Okay. What did it... What did, go back. I think you could take a picture. Truly. It tells you It tells you on that other screen. Shop, Shop for, for candles, candles. Cleaning supplies, snacks and drinks. Oh, okay. That's what we're doing. Yeah, That's our objective. All fishing spots are marked. Yeah. My headphones are kind of messing up. Is she having a dream? I can't hear anymore. Oh. Oh, I can hear again. Okay. Um, the Trout King is still here. Um. What are we supposed to look for? Candles? Cleaning supplies? Okay, I'll get. Where are the candles? What's this? Hey, this? If we buy ice cream, we can keep it cool in the snow. What is this? Ice cream in 20 degree weather? Ice cream mm -hmm. in all weather. Um. There's bottle drinks. Ah, uh, drinks. Um. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not. OJ sound good to you? Yep. I didn't know there was an option to what you wanted. But I guess there was. Where'd she put it? So, uh, what kind of lure would you use for a steelhead? Well, it's hard to beat little Cleo. So, we need candles, the candles, cleaning supplies, supplies snacks, snacks, and drinks. Dishes. Candles, Wait, cleaning supplies, is this and a pop quiz? snacks. That's not, no. I had to be sure. Um, you think I'm like, there we go. You? Well, can you blame me for being skeptical? Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? This has some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes. Ooh, busted. That's so sad. I grab some bait for my next fishing trip. Um, Let's see. This? Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Mm. Mm. Plain candles are fine. Oh, I think there was another option. Okay. Chips, chips, stop. <laughs> Remember how we would stage sit-ins at the candy? Hey, Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Um, Sugar Rush it is. Yeah, there's options of what you can pick. Uh, now all we have left is snacks. Strawberries right. in November. Mm. What the heck is this? Hmm. Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? Trout yeah, King. We don't need the Trout I King. Might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder! Hmm. Where's the snacks? Who's this? Oh, this is a guy. Oh. Stop clicking things without me. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Um... Just waiting on yeah, Tyler. Yeah, I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be... Weird for him to be back here. It's been a rough day. Yeah, I don't know. But today's been crazy. Define crazy. I don't just lie to him. Kind of unsettling to go back to the old house after all this time. No, it's kind of How are you feeling? Still, still unsettled, but it'll pass. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, friend. We need cute. cleaning supplies. Oh well, yeah, we also do need that. Oh, and I forgot we already got the snacks. Um, what? Um, I need. I want, kind of want soda now, <laughs> but we already picked orange juice, so. Uh -huh. 
What the heck is this? That really is one enormous pumpkin. Why? Where Why are you so? cleaning supplies? Um. I can stall with that one. Um, cleaning supplies, cleaning supplies, cleaning supplies, cleaning supplies. Um. In the wrong area. Um. um <laughs> Where you got the cleaning supplies at, buddy? Um. Look over here. Look over here on this shelf. There we go. There we go. Turn mm. to the to the right. Oh, cleaning supplies. Mm. Hmm. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Is it only one? I'll take the strong one. Oh, I, why'd you click it? Okay, I think I'm we're helping. done here. Tom will ring us up at the <laughs> Not counter. Helping. I'm trying to pick things and you're just clicking things. Hmm. We took a good strong cleaner. Yeah. Cold boomerang. What's that? Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background check. Yeah, I don't care. Will that be all? You already have gone. Yes. Them up and Thank you, Tom. We should go soda. Oh, Look hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprise it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. Tessa, you were no help. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but That's right. it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I, still like that. That's it I need to go now. You take it off and Best reset of luck it. To you, truly. What no, the hell was that? Be I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's like got that. CIA training. Something's hmm. weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Hmm. Okay, Tyler. Um. So soda? maybe there's a memory around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm feeling a little vibration. Yep. Another vibration. A little wonky. A little something wonky. Where is it? Where is the memory? Oh, oh here it is. Yeah, I just want to Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Well, she doesn't seem like a very good friend. Huh. Yeah, she doesn't. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Hmm. Okay. Where's call your version? Call up his version? Uh, you need to go back to that place? Alright. Okay. What's your 
Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Hmm. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. So they have, they remember it differently. Okay. Interesting. You remember that slightly differently? I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Um, which one you want to remember? Allison? I want to talk to you now. Which memory? Please. You want it the way Tyler remembers it, or the way what Tessa? What is that memory? Huh? What is that memory? It just disappeared, bro. Because you're walking past it. Oh. So yeah, but there's. You there's want no... Allison's memory, what, or what's that? Which is it going to be? That's Tyler's. Um, Do I need to start I'm calling choosing, in your debts? I'm choosing an. Uh, a. No, Tessa was. She went on Jack Thompson on it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... My God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Mm. This just doesn't seem so, like a good option. So, Tessa, um, tell us what really went down. We want the truth. Is there something I can do for you? Um, your fight with Marianne. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think mm. she knows more than she's letting on. Me too. But duh. Mm -hmm. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, She'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. We might something. have to stop something here if the music's not turned off. We may off. be onto something here, Ronan. Um. Okay, make sure the audio music is, well... Now that go down no, a tiny bit, a tiny bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. We'll Make to sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Don't wanna, don't wanna get okay. it, even if Let's it's see if we can figure quiet. out what song it was. Mm. What song was mm. it? Hmm. Where's the radio? my question um where's the radio where's the is that a jukebox in the corner hmm. turn around turn around 
ATM? Is that a, no, that's an ATM. That's an ATM. <laughs> what is he doing? What is Tyler doing? Let's um, talk to him. He's staring. What are you thinking, Tyler? He's staring at cans. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. Oh, oh. so go talk to Tom. Is his name Tom? Hey, Tom. What was that song? You know the one. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? Um, I remember that one song that Mom and Tessa always question, but liked. Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little right. worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. Thank I you, was Tom. happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is it Elton John? Yeah, da, 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 da. This is it, right? Is it Fleetwood Mac? <laughs> yes, it's Elton John. Is it Justin so. Bieber? Yes, it's Justin Bieber. You know, it's like, baby, 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 oh, <laughs> baby, 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 baby. Memory. Memory. We can't go to it. Won't let us yet. Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. I want to hear the song. Baby, baby, baby. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just for copyright. I can't believe this. Should we check this one out? Where is it? Where is it? Memories like the corners of my mind. Maybe it's that song. Oh. Oh dear, I can hear it. Oh dear, I can right, hear but it. We, yeah, but we can't. Oh dear. So oh dear. Where is the memory place? Where is it? Tyler, show us where it is. Where is the memory, Tyler? No, I don't want to hear the song. Copyright, copyright, copyright. Copyright claimed. You're seeing what I'm seeing, right? No! <laughs> Copy no copyright, We're not no seeing copyright, anything. no copyright, no copyright. Oh. Uh, yeah. Talk. Oh. Did I just like push Tyler back? Yeah, we're being all out of control. Where is the Where memory? Is the copyright. Is it over here? Hello? Hello? Hope oh, is it in near her office or something? Um Maybe. Maybe, baby. Maybe we're getting closer. Alright, right, we're gone. Hey Tessa, do you mind if I check out your computer? Oh, here we go. Oh, here it is. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine! Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Mm. Trying to set her up with some of those. Tessa gave to Mary Ann. I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad though. Like maybe conversion therapy. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. One of those creepy conversion therapy places. This is true. I want to know how Marianne felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. You getting anything? No. No visions. We need to play that song again. Tom! Please play the song again. One more time, please. Probably 50 more times, Tom. Do you think you could play the song again? Huh, here it is. Thanks, Tom. We'll just... Leave you to do that. Okay. Will you please? Um, is it Elvis? Yes, it's Elvis. Is um, it Madonna? Oh, there, there's the memory. Immediate. Thank you for the memory. Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? So true, Tyler. You think on. there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. This place isn't that big. Oh, something. Something. There, go. there we go. The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. Mm hmm How do you know this? Tessa, I'm power walking into your room. Oh, yeah. Don't mind me. Can I help you, Allison? No. Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Mm. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? What does it say? Elijah, June, $24 for a meal at the restaurant. Paid off. September, $11 for the kid. Eric B. February fifty dollars. March paid off February's debt. Seven September twenty dollars for gas paid in full. Okay. Marianne. Yeah, show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October two thousand four. Five months before that night. New shoes yeah, for kids. No, no, Check kids. bounced. December no, no show. show. Not, not returning calls. January no show. Mm. What happened in October where everything changed? Or August? No. No. October. August she paid off. October. Mm. Oh, she was a no show. No. October. We need to remember that. I think. What's yeah. this doing here? The hey, Pius Bob. Pelican. It's the pious pelican. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, that's all we need to know. It started to end a word for culmination. Why are you speaking? Where are you? Apogee. Go to the computer. Go to the computer. Tom. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm... Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Tell my son of this opportunity. What if I told you the government owed you up to $10,000 in Virtue cash? Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. <gasps> there it is. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? Watch Dr. Whitmore talk. Articulating God's design for sexuality. Yeah. Ten powerful Tessa Christian quotes that will change way. your life. A parent's guide to preventing same-sex attraction. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Now it's in 20th year. Admission for 2015 open. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. How dare you tell Let's talk to Tessa. I'm here, Tessa. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, tell us the truth. We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts? I never. Like I'm some kind of lone shark. Yes, you when are. did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have time stamps. I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. Oh, we got details. Um, October. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. It wasn't about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah. We didn't think you guys were arguing about money. Um, 
You told her about the camp. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The, the Virtue... The Virtue Seekers. Yeah, we remember The Virtue all Seekers this. Youth Camp. It was conversion you therapy. To you told her that Tyler should go there. I... Um... I yeah, deny look, that, you've Tessa. you clearly decided I'm Judas, just like Marianne did. But I was trying to help. No, you were not. Tyler, she told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. You told her to send her child to conversion therapy. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. Now. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to. Let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. Aww. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have I a lot of I think she was going to kill Tessa. Today. I think she was going to kill Tessa and okay. then, uh, then well, Tyler walked in. Then. And... Thanks, Tessa. So what happened? Well, I'm thinking t he, she was, she had the gun. She was originally gonna kill Tessa, and then I don't think so. And then Tyler thought she was gonna kill him, so he stabbed her, and then she's dead now. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, Thanks. Michael. Okay. Bye, Tom. See you later. Thanks, Michael. I guess. Thanks, Tom. What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. Marianne, she had my back. It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She was Was she, she though? She still was tried she? to kill me. I don't think Did she was. She? But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey. Look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. You're it's not, not good for you. Don't do it. No. What? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. It means if you were wrong about that, what else are you wrong oh, about? It's a good thing Eddie's expecting you us. Killed your mother he knew Marianne no pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. I guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Okay, good trip to the store. Got supplies, learned a whole lot. Full confession. You made Tessa tell which ones everything she knows. You made Tessa tell us everything she knows. Tell, I guess there was an option that you couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. If you didn't remember, probably. But we remember. All right, go on in the police department. Go on in. Walk faster. Why are you so slow? This I'm is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. What a hero. Anyway, he's probably in his office upstairs. Okay. We're still playing as Allison. That's nice. Let's head to his office upstairs. What Damn. is that? They've still got this creepy mascot, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a local Harry. What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. Justin Beaver. He's Justin Beaver. Longest serving officer. I am the law. <laughs> Hold on. 
I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing I don't care. Meet me when you're done. Have fun. Meet me in the open space when you're done. Home sweet home. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Open. Here. Can't open okay, it. well he's upstairs. Something's in the way. Oh, memory. Memory. Where's the memory? Hello? It's right around here somewhere. It's farther. It's upstairs, I think. Yeah. Tyler. Nope, you coming? It's gone now. Oh, well, maybe not. Wait. Um, Where are you, memory? Where's the memory? I do not know. I wish it was a little easier to find. The little thing will pop up when we get there, right? But that's letting us know we're close. Maybe it is upstairs. I don't know. No, it's not upstairs. Um, it's right around here somewhere. It's the armory. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. Wait. Um. What? Are, what? What is he saying? Uh, I can't hear. I don't think so. Yeah, you can't hear it, but you so can what? see it. You can read it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we're gonna need to go upstairs for now. I'm gonna find that memory. Wait, 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 right around here. Maybe you're moving too fast. Maybe you're going past it before the thing has a chance to. There we go. Oh. See, you're just moving too fast. Come no, on, I just man. Didn't we can't let these poor right kids angle. sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room. Stop it! Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Hmm. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Hmm. Now I'll go upstairs. I found the memory. So now my job is complete. Eddie! We are here! Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's okay. the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Why don't you come down when good? you're done? Well, we don't have anything to be downstairs. done with. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh, memory. memory, memory. Open. Should in there. <sighs> Something's in the way. Where is yes, it? there is. Oh. Memory, uh, passing it. Almost left it. Uh -huh. I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. Well, um... Did Brown just flat out ignore me? Um, I didn't notice. But I mean, he's probably feeling awkward since, you know, you didn't take his gift. Great. He's making it weird. Open. Is there another memory? Open! No. The reception, not the break room. You know, okay. Ooh, Rose never lets me back here. Memory. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay.
You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Hey, examine. Tell me huh. if you don't get out of the way. I always left the computer on. Um. Password. Who's who's thing are we supposed to? Be? Um. Let's do this one. Um. Um. I don't know. Previous Family. User? No, that's too. Um. I don't long. understand. Um. Um. But that's not the user that's up, right? Yeah, she doesn't have a user. Rose, wait, Jackson. Mm -hmm. Or oh. Jackson, maybe that's her. Maybe a J? Rose. J. Damn it. Um, hmm. Green? That's not. Green. <clears throat> Damn it. Well, look around. Well, all police department personnel, Rose Jackson, October 29, 2015. New administrative software. Please reset your password with the introduction of our new administrative software. All employees, employees must reset their password. Please note that the reception desk computer can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Talk to Sally or me if you have any questions, Rosie. So we got to figure out some other officer's ID and password. What's on that little piece of um, paper? Nothing. Nothing. Can I can I there was nothing else in there? I feel like there was something else in there. Um. Look. Mm. You move around so fast sometimes I feel like we might miss things. Mm -hmm. well, that's the front. There we go. Okay, let's go in. Is this the break room? Yep. This is the locker room. Wait, look on the board. Look on the board. Yep, it's locked. Oh, okay. You hear a pager or a phone? Phone? Officer Vincenzi? What? Officer Wilson. Can't read these. Does that one say Rose? No, that one says Wilson. Um. We're supposed to be figuring something out here. Um. What's on your mind? Just thinking about how we slept in that corner over there. Yeah, on that paper-thin mattress from the cell. It could have been a pillow top and I wouldn't have slept a wink. I don't know how you come here every week. I've been here 10 minutes and it's already fucking me up. I got used to it. Dug a pit and stuffed all those memories deep inside. Couldn't have survived Delos Crossing if I hadn't. I should probably tell you that repression's the worst coping strategy. But you do what you have to. Mm. Hey, do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah, why? 
Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Yeah. I used to dream about her a lot. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal, like we'd be sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson, and then suddenly she would turn into Sandy, and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. Um. So, are things gonna be weird at all between you and Eddie? Only if he makes it weird. Good. Because he's more likely to tell us about Marianne if you don't antagonize him. I know. Don't worry. I just want answers. Let's go? Yep. Okay, we need, um... We didn't go into the, um... Break room. This is the only one that can be opened. Go into the break room through the yep, door. It's locked. Ugh. They've let this place get gross. Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. What is it? I don't even know. I'm not that hungry. Turn around. What's over there? Hold on. Yeah, right there. Move. Move that out of the way. Move it. That's what's blocking the door. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> You're stronger than I expected. Coffee? A little coffee in the coffee pot? In the How coffee is this mug? so warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? What? What are you looking at? Oh, memory. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? Hmm. What did they lie about? You okay? Probably killing me. Honestly? Okay. No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Okay, well, it was her. Maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, Killing your mom? look where we're at. Look where I'm at. Killing your mom? Do you regret killing your mom? I would have. I would. Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. I think she killed her, but he he took the blame. Uh, you sure? Why is there still a memory? What other memories there to be found? Follow him. Where'd he go? In the room. That room they were just looking in. He went in there. No. No, no. Turn around. I'm trying to find the memory, but I don't know where it is. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. What are you talking about? Go to your right. Right there. See? Oh. Sorry. Tyler, move it's out. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here, um, have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. No. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? 
It's that vase. They glued it back together. I don't see it. You think the password could be Delos? Because they're a part of the Delos. Our memories. Where is it? Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry trying to deal, but it's a lot. Oh, look at that desk. Excuse me, Tyler. There was stuff on this desk to look at and examine. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a dick. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh... He died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Damn. Poor D. Hmm. Um, I don't think this is important. Hmm. Anything else? What about that note, that notepad? can't look at it. I'm wondering if, um, hold on, it was right there. You can't look at it. You can't? No. Because we need to get somebody's, um, oh, Ooh, That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Bellows Crossing. Because, like, somewhere there's got to be a, an officer's badge number so that we can get into that computer. Mm-hmm. I'm trying really hard. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? What's our daughter's name? That's my question. What's that? Oh my god, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me you've got baby fever. Ew, no. Why do men always jump to that? What does that even say? I don't know what it says. What does it say? Oh my god, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me you've got baby fever. Ew, no. Why do men always jump to that? What are you doing? Let's get out of here. I'm trying to... Hmm. Trying to find if there was anything in the Um. Said um, read. Becker. Becker. Uh, uh, Police Department personnel from the Spad Mental Health Institute, date October 16, 2015. Patient, patient transfer. To all Delos Crossing Police Department officers, please be advised that due to overcrowding issues, patients Dean Becker, Kevin Sutton will be transferred to the Fallon Creek Correctional Center, SPU, on Monday, October 26, 2015, at 0800. Hmm. That's around that date, right? October 2015. Five feet eight inches tall. Although, why would that still oh, be sitting Greg. on someone's desk? Just leaving this out on display again. Greg's. Like Officer Greg's? The one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown.
You didn't get anybody's information, honey. Try their town. Um. Damn it. Yeah, there's infinite tries, so. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. The one above it. Do the one above it. No, we already did that one. No, you did the bottom one. No, you did both of them. You didn't talk about the other one? Yes, it did. You just weren't paying attention. I think you're missing stuff. No, I talked about the one guy's art. And then I talked about the other one. The old one. You're the one missing stuff because you don't realize anything. Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This bandit. Stealing from mailboxes. This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. Like you know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, 10 2018 at approximately 10:03. Officer Greggs and myself were dispatched to 239 Woodlawn Road to respond to a report of a theft. We arrived at approximately 10:22 hours and spoke with owner Lawrence Cooper. Date of birth 7:15:67. Cooper reported that his mailbox had been broken into. Cooper stated, "I checked it two days ago because I'm wanting." Waiting on my new phone, they made me put pay extra for shipping to get it here on time. But I said I don't didn't have that shit. I'm gonna pay what I owe and not a dime more. They backed down and said it would be there Tuesday. But this morning the lock was smashed to shit, and there wasn't nothing in there. Probably that punk ass toe down. No toe down is a street alias for Jervis A. Solo known to myself and officer greg and formerly number 12882 oh wait officer wait last known address is that what he said wait an address and another piece of apartment um to myself and officer greg's and formerly wait who is this officer greg uh -huh. Rob is greg. that 12882 is that a number like an officer's number one two eight eight two. What what was it? Twelve eight eight two. One two eight 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 two. One two eight eight two. But for who? Officer Greggs. Mm -hmm. um, well, there's no numbers. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess not. Yeah, there's no numbers. Get out. Move. Tyler. <laughs> it wasn't our way. How has this guy not been caught? Mm -hmm. Cooper also said that he, he, he had been looking night prior to the incident and had nothing unusual. Cooper went on to state, when I find Toe Down, I'm going to stuff his ass up his own ass. <laughs> Next. Cooper was cautioned against making criminal threats. Cooper stated that his willingness to per persecute Solo was direct directed to seek charges with the prosecutor's office. Hmm. Mom. It's very hard for me to try to figure things out when you're handling the controller, though. Go back to her office. Mm -hmm. Go back to her office. 
and look at the note next to the computer again and see what it how it says what it said about there was a note over there that we read there it is look read this is from Rose Jackson. October 29 to... New administrative software. Please reset your password with the instruction in, introduction of our new administrative software. software. All employees must reset their password. Please note that the reception desk computer can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Talk to Sally or me if you have any questions. Um, the, the reception desk. Is she the reception desk? No. It's not. I think. Actually, it might be. I think. It is the reception desk. Yeah, that's the reception desk. So, what can we touch in here? So, any officer's ID and password. Do we have to get Eddie's? Is, how would we get a password? Do we have to get Eddie's things? So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. Okay, let's go back. Maybe that's a sign, or maybe we're supposed to get his ID. It would be crazy if we were supposed to just get his ID this whole entire time. Hey, sorry that took so long. Tweets were the ones that were taking Sometimes really long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Uh, hey, you remember this guy? Of course. Tyler Ronan. The prodigal son returns. Yep. Look at you. I didn't even recognize you at first. I heard that a lot today, Chief Brown. Chief Brown. No need for that kind of formality, not with family. Huh. Bro, just chill. How are you You're finding Delos Crossing? Change much? Uh, same dump, different year. <laughs> well, we're no Juno, but lots of folks feel at home here. It's got to be good to be back with your sister, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. <sighs> Look, Eddie, we are here just to say hi. We found something in Marion's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for... being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Um, what were her last days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Hmm. Thank you. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. Thanks, Uncle you want Eddie. my advice. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. Their procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! this? Tyler! No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense.
but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? No. I'm still you not still sure. think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? <sighs> Look, Uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Eddie, we need your <laughs> I ID. I send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. Uncle Eddie, we need your ID, please. And thank you. Give us your ID. What is it, Tyler? What's on your mind, buddy? Many things. You can tell me. He cannot. He's in a game. He's in the screen. I do not think he can do that. Hmm. So, I don't know if we found out everything we were supposed to find out there or not, because I feel like we were supposed to get into Rose's computer. But I could, yeah, but there's no way out. to get the ID. Not that I saw of, at least. Stop! What is what that? The what the heck? Oh! Oh, uh, oh dear lord. What? Oh dear lord. I just got chills all over my body. Uh, oh dear lord, have mercy. What? What the Did heck you just is get that? chills? Yeah. This is not supposed to be scary. I didn't think That's why she's got the gun. There's a creepy monster. I didn't think this was a game. I'm sorry, I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! What? No. There's something Please. behind him, probably. Mom. I don't know. Mom, Please. I'm scared. No, don't do this. What is happening? It looks like was she possessed by a monster? Allison, a that demon? was horrifying. That was horrifying. That was not, I was not expecting that because this is supposed to be a scary movie. I, killed her. I didn't think this Allison. was a scary game. <laughs> we need uh, to was, call for help. It was a horrifying thing. <laughs> I killed her. No. What the heck is you it? didn't? Your imagination is too wild, I kid. Her. And when they come, that's what we're gonna tell them. <laughs> no. No. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers There's and sisters. Goblins in the woods. It's gonna be okay. The mad hunters in the woods, and he's actually horrifying. It's gonna be okay. He's actually the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Mm. Um, I am very unsettled right now. Yeah, I've got that even That was not colder. at all pleasant. And that's not the kind of images that are supposed to be in this game. I thought... <laughs> no wonder. No wonder she had a gun. Because the Night Hunter was, was in the That was chapter one. 
They did say there was like, I think there was something that was supposed to be in the water in their games. In their little book. Uh, Okay. So, that was chapter one, guys. I am freaked out. I didn't expect to be freaked out by this game. Wow. But I'm um, feeling a little freaked out right now. (laughs) Creepy, creepy creepers. No, no. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Why was he in the forest? (laughs) What was he? That didn't even look like a normal human being. He wasn't a normal human being. He was a mad hunt. He was called the Mad Hunter. He was from their little goblin stories. All right. Very creepy. Very interesting. Uh, We're going to stop here. And we will get with you um, for more of Tell Me Why next time. Thanks for watching. Why would...